Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, uh, I hope everybody had a good long weekend. A uh, couple things. Uh, hourly, but hold on, I want to start on the daily chart here. So on Friday, we talked about long-term control versus intermediate control, and we'll talk a little bit today about short-term control. Your long-term control is the 200-day exponential simple moving average, uh, Whoever holds that area, um, you know, maintains long-term control of the market. We went down. We did matching lows. We held. Uh, we held the line, and you've seen this, you know, five, six session steady walk up to the area of intermediate control, which is the daily mid band. The daily mid band is intermediate control. The last two sessions, the last two sessions, intermediate control has been. You know, and, and this is a holiday session, mind you, but actually it's all a trade date today. For the last two sessions, Globex sessions, the daily mid band has held up as resistance. So the bears have shown up where they need to show up. So the issue becomes, can they follow through on that? Can they follow through? They need to take advantage. They need to convert um, the new weekly pivot which is coming in this week at 2703.67. So you can see Friday daily mid band resistance, holiday session daily mid band resistance, this kind of this walk down. Now you can walk wherever you want in this kind of a volatility market, but they're going to need to convert weekly pivot if they want to do anything else to the downside. So are they in control on an intermediate basis? Potentially, yes, but that's not gonna be confirmed for me until you start to see some key areas get broken, starting with the weekly pivot. You convert weekly pivot, you convert the round number 2700, and you end up trading this week. It's a short week, but if you end up trading this week in the 2600s versus the 2700s, I would say you know that's, that's mission accomplished by the bears. Uh, what do the bulls want to do? Well, they want to hold the rounding. They want to hold the weekly pivot. They want to get back up to the daily mid band. And this time they want to go through in the light of day, uh, during the course of this week, they might be able to do that. Then they would already have, they already have long-term control of the market down at the 200. They would then gain intermediate term control. And, you know, it would be, you know, you convert that daily mid band and a steady walk up to test 2800 is not out of the question. And if you start to do things like that, bears fall into old habits and then you start to have, uh, you know, then, then you start to, you know, you end up with, you know, January all over again. Uh, maybe not to that magnitude. I think it'll be harder to hold along, uh, but that's what is left potentially if um, the bears can't continue to make a stand up at the daily mid band. So they are making a stand up there. They need to continue to make a stand personally. I mean, I'm kind of rooting for them because it means more two sided trading for us. Remember, we don't care if it goes up. We don't care if it goes down. We just want it to move and we want it to move in a way that we can trade it. So I think we've, we've kind of geared down from insane volatility to very tradable volatility. Uh, it was a great week last week. The volatility was never off the charts, so you're able to put in, you know, anywhere from 10 to, to 20 something handles a day, um, you know, as far as room handles go, and then people can capture what they need to capture. My suggestion to members and my suggestion to anybody out there is, look, make what you, you know, make, make your goal for the day, don't give it back, um, you know, because the afternoons have tended to be a little bit whippy. Uh, the mornings have definitely been easier to trade, knock on wood, we'll see if that continues. But um, it's been a very tradable tape, very tradable tape. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. I'll be out with uh, some uh, 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 midday updates and uh, wrap ups. Uh, the last administrative note is uh, I've had something come up personally. I'm gonna have to leave after the close. So the, um, the time frame webinar that was supposed to be today I'm going to push that back to next week and now I'll, I'll get an email out to everybody that's already registered for that. Um, it's just un unavoidable and I apologize, but these things happen. All right, everybody take care. Have a good one. Trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, 
and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade